friends of the internet, welcome to the Gallant Horde. Um, we are going to visit a forest today, um, which I'm very excited about. I'm sure it will be lovely and you will just quietly walk through the trees and nothing bad will happen. <laughs> okay. Nothing go wrong. <laughs> Indeed. Um, so if you are new to the Gallant Horde, the general idea is that they are a guild of adventurers who do various tasks and missions for a mysterious patron called the Lady Bellatrix. Um, and yeah, today they are being sent to a strange, sh the shrine of a dryad deity. Um, and they're going to attempt to retrieve an artifact from there. But before we do that, we are going to do a little giveaway. So every week I give away an in-game item. Anyone can enter the draw. You don't have to be a member of the Gallant Horde. If you win it, you can gift it to any member of the Gallant Horde. If you are a member of the Gallant Horde, you can um, keep it for yourself or gift it to someone else. It's entirely up to you. So today's in-game item is a Scarab of Protection. So if you want to go and look that up in D&D Beyond and see what it does, feel free. Um, in order to win it, I'm going to open the thing. You type into chat, exclamation point, friendly bug. And that will enter you into the draw. And we will draw that just before the break. That was disconcerting. <laughs> so we've introduced Sirenscape to our game this week, um, which means that Adam is in charge of all the sounds. That is happening in the other room, so I have no control over the sound during the game, which could be quite entertaining. Um, yeah, so anything that happens sound-wise, you can blame him, not me. Yay! Oh, he's getting very excited in chat because he has power now. Uh, we also... <laughs> We also have um, a bunch of things in our chat with our channel points. You can spend channel points to do various things and help out the players or help out the monsters. It doesn't have to be the players. It can be the monsters. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> you can give inspiration, give advantage, various other bits and pieces. Uh, so have a look at that. Have a bit of an experiment. Um, and yeah. We will see how that goes this week. Last week, it was pretty clutch. I think chat saved multiple players last week. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I well, think they, they also made it a little longer, I think, at one point. I mean, yeah. that, that's true. I think, yeah, the, yeah, 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 that was a thing. One of them anyway. was healed. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty great. Anyway, um... On with the show. On with the show, indeed. We are uh, also trying to raise our subscription. So if you have been watching for a while and you are enjoying what we're doing, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and um, just, yeah, supporting what we do. That would be awesome. Okay. Without further ado, uh, let's dive right in. So... Is there anything you would like to do um, before you enter the ladies' chamber today? Uh, definitely stop by uh, a group of our lovely clerics and um, druids have yeah. set up shop right outside the ladies' mm -hmm. um, entrance so yep. that we can gain some boons and buffs. Yeah, and we want to go to the Buffs R Us shop. Yeah, exactly, and um, and Rianne will donate. Mm -hmm. Rianne will donate fifty gold towards their uh, collection of gems and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the first stop before we even enter. Yeah. So I think all of us have aid, and many of us have death ward, and ten good berries, and um, some orange slices. Yeah, <laughs> orange slices. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, so just for those of you. You what? I missed that, sorry. Oh no, it's the teleportation afterwards. 
um, we, yeah, so we have a Discord, and a lot of stuff happens in the Discord between games. Um, subscribers get access to that Discord, even if they're not members. So, um, yeah, just saying, if you want to be in on all that stuff. So this is something that happened in the Discord, is they decided that they could buff each other before missions. Well, they asked if they could do that. I kindly said that that was okay. Um, <laughs> so... Cool, so you all know what buffs you've been given by Naya and Zinkela. Um, so, yeah. Can I have a question? Yes. I didn't, I didn't have my chat up before. What is the, the thing to enter to get the scarab? Exclamation yeah. point, friendly bug. Friendly bug. Okay. Friendly bug, yes. So I, need, I need protection. <laughs> For sure. Okay. All righty. So, okay, why I turned it off here. Should we talk louder? No, I can turn you up. No, we're just, playing with levels we're just trying to, because we've changed a lot, we're just, I'm really loud. Yeah, some people said they couldn't hear you before, so I think that's why he raised your... Okay. How's that? Is that volume? No. I can hear you. Chat to tell me if it's better. Ah. Can you? Ah. Uh, okay. All right. We'll see how we go. Just be patient with us, folks. We're trying to do new things with sound. Alrighty, so you enter the lady's throne room. Um, she is, as usual, sitting in her throne. She has a beautiful forest green gown on um, and like leaves in her hair, woven into her hair, um, and she says, good morning, adventurers. Um, how are we doing today? Very well, thank you. <laughs> Are we ready to go and retrieve me a lovely artifact? Do you know what that artifact is? No. So here's what I know. Oh. I know that there is a shrine in this forest um, devoted to a dryer deity called Feigen. And there are stories that she has some sort of artifact uh, in the center of her shrine, that there is some kind of altar and there is a something there. And I know a little bit of what it does, but I don't know what it looks like. Um, I believe it might be some kind of amulet, but I'm not 100% sure. So you're going to have to just be clever, I suppose. Do you know what the shrine looks like? I imagine there's a lot of branches and leaves involved. But no, not really. I just I know where it is roughly. I okay. Am I familiar with that deity? Yeah, are, are any of us familiar with them? Um, you can make a religion check. Oh. That's to fail me now. Uh, okay, 14. 14. 24. 24. 24. <laughs> All right, Rianth. <laughs> um, I would say that you may have vaguely heard the name somewhere in the sense of some kind of story but you don't know much about her beyond the fact that there are stories about this deity of a dry of dryads because it's a dryad deity it's quite um it's not something you would know unless you've had interactions with actual dryads of the sort where they tell you their stuff which is hard because, you know, they're not the most forthcoming beings in the world. So you may have heard the name, but you don't really know anything about her. Okay. What does the artifact do? That might help us figure out what it is. Um, my understanding is that it um, gives you... Uh, it, it gives you abilities similar to those that dryads have, and it allows you to um, 
use plants to travel. Mm. Oh, uh, all right. That, yes, which might be that a could help tool. figure it out. Mm. Mm, okay. Do you have any other questions before I send you off? We're ready. Uh, what kind of creatures reside in this forest? Anything of note besides the typical woodland fare? Um, I don't know a great deal about it, but my understanding is that it's a fairly ordinary forest. There may be a few more creatures of various kinds than you would um, perhaps usually encounter. Um, there may be some things that are that that are not. How do I put this? They don't usually reside together. Put it that way. Um, it, it, there is something magical about it, uh, but I, again, it's not something I'm very familiar with. Basically, I'm sending you chasing a story. Is okay. what's happening here. I love stories. So it's entirely possible that you will get there and find that the story is not even true. I, I you know, but I would like to know for sure one way or the other. And if it is true, I would like the item. So can we anticipate dryad guardians of this shrine? It is very old. There might be guardians of some kind, but I I mean, it's always good to be prepared. Right, of course. I brought lots of fire spells, so that's oh, how you prepare for trees. I think we can't handle. Hmm. Be careful with those. Okay. I, if at all possible, it would be better to not anger the god of the dryads. Last resort. <laughs> it's there, just like in case. We, I feel like if we anger the god of the dryads, we can't ever go near another tree. I'm just, you know, it, it, it's perhaps not the best approach. Maybe subtle well, would be better. We'll see. Also, we are I'm nothing quite, if not subtle. I'm quite... <laughs> She laughs out loud. <laughs> she, I, I, I quite like trees, so I'd prefer it if you didn't destroy a forest in the process. If it's attacking me, I might do it anyway. Before it? If a tree comes to life, I've seen some weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just try to keep it localized in that case. Um, I got that. Mm. For sure. That's fine. Not a problem. <laughs> Chat says splinters for life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fabulous. All right. Are you ready? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. All right. I suppose. And she <laughs> waves a hand, and you all feel that tug of um, of teleportation, and you find yourselves transported into the middle of a lush green forest there is bird song you it, it's so loud you can probably really hear it um <laughs> there is like the rustling of trees it smells green you know that that really green smell you get when you're out in nature that's what it smells like um and yeah let me show you Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, yes, Chad hello. is just asked if they missed the introductions. And oh, I totally didn't do that thing. Do you wish to do them now? All right. Yes, <laughs> let's do this. I'm sorry. It was a bit of a hectic start to this stream. All right. You guys can introduce yourselves while I make the map happen. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Starting with Matt. Ah, hello. I'm uh, Matthew Smith, and I play Gref. A Gisera... Monk of the Astral Self. Will. My name is Will, and I'm playing Ardbeg, who is a half elf fighter and a drunk. <laughs> Nicole. Hi, my name is Nicole, and I play Rianne, who is a um, Gif Yankee uh, fighter. She's a Psy warrior fighter. Kit. I'm Kit, and I'm playing Morwen Starshine, an Aladrin of <clears throat> Silver Dragon Ancestry Sorcerer. Alex? I am Alex, and I am playing Harper, who is a human abjuration wizard. And Leonel. 
Hi, I'm Yanel. I'm playing uh, Wazitum, the druid who recently turned to a mysterious de de deity. <laughs> yes, Wazitum now has one level in cleric. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's do this. And uh, as soon as we get there, Harper is going to cast a mage armor on themselves. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it's not showing you the map. We'll eat the orange slices. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Here I'm around. I'm gonna snack on some grass. <laughs> if you wanna play while I game. Alright, Adam's gonna try and make the map happen. Um, what would you all like to do? Is there any small animals nearby? Possibly birds? Uh, you can certainly hear birds. Uh, Harper will summon um, their familiar Evie and send Evie up to have a look around and see if she can see anything okay. that might resemble the shrine further out. Alright. Um, make a perception check as Evie. What kind of bird is Evie? Uh, Evie is a small barn owl. Oh, yes, that's right. I knew that. <laughs> well, that's not good. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. That is 15. 15? Um... So there are a lot of trees, like Evie flies up and there are just trees for miles in every direction. Um, she, she, she kind yes. of in one direction can sort of vaguely see where there appears to be something poking out between the trees, but it's not clear what it is from this distance. Um, it's probably eh, a couple of miles away. Harper will relay that to the party. Was it Tim? You have inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Mm, while everyone's taking their surroundings, I would like to, as a ritual, cast speak with animals and okay. try to uh, get the attention of some nearby bird. By my like very uh, like on brand tweeting. <laughs> make a so you're tweeting to try and make a bird come and talk to you. Is that what's happening right now? Yep. Make Disney a performance check. That. All right. <laughs> mm. Seven. Your tweeting is not very realistic, and the birds are not convinced at all, and they stay in their trees Aww. and continue to tweet. Even with speak with animals, that's so rude of them. <laughs> From now on, I do not like birds anymore. Oh, jeez. Maybe right. they're small woodland creatures. You know, squirrels or that sort of thing. Yeah, squirrels trust people way more. Birds are skittish. Yeah. Maybe orange slices will draw somebody in. If we put out an orange slice. Oh, man. I'm, yeah. I know, they're delicious, but it's possible. Since tweeting didn't work, I'm going to try to, like, it's for the make other some, side. Like, squirrel noises. Make squirrel noises. <laughs> Alright, make another performance check. Remember that you have inspiration. I do. I will use it later, probably. <laughs> I will use it now, because that's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> And that's another seven. I am cursed. Oh no. Oh no. No squirrels appear <laughs> to talk to you, I'm afraid. <laughs> I get the notebook out and add uh, squirrels to my list of enemies. Okay. That's a, that's Jurors, a lot. birds, squirrels. <laughs> yeah. That's what's happening. Uh, oh boy. Can I, uh, I look, look yeah. around for some tracks or path or an obvious direction that we should be heading? Sure. Like a traveled path or yep. specific, Make. specifically uh, humanoids. Make tracks. a survival check. I gave him guidance. You have guidance. That means you had a d4. Seven. <laughs> well, oh. this is going well. Plus a d4. Um, that's four all up. Four total. Yeah. 
<laughs> you do not find any tracks. You find a really pretty flower that looks the same sort of color as your favorite whiskey, and it distracts you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So well, I, I think Harper's got the best lead so far. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Evie saw something, right? So we yeah. head yeah. towards where Evie saw something. Yeah. Better than us nothing. seeing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's let's go we, that way. Yeah. All right. You're doing so well. Wow. So you start to move through the forest it, to, in the direction of, of the thing. What order are you going through the forest in? Uh, I would like to be uh, right in the middle. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm in front. front of everyone. Yeah, I can be in front too. Ardbeg oh, and Rianne, oh. and then the somewhere in ones. the middle. Morwen yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And was it him? Oh, I'll, I'll stick to the back. Yep. I'm pretty fast. All right, so Harper and then and not very squishy. Correct, bringing up the rear. Cool. Crazy. Um. All right, so I would like Artbeck and Re. Are you just walking through this forest, or are you being sneaky through this forest? I don't really do sneaky. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I was just walking. All right, yeah. cool. Uh, Artbeck and Rian, can you make a perception check as you move through the forest, please? Is that like a little stream running through it on the map? It is. Yes. Okay. Oh. That do would we be a twenty. A twenty? Ardbeg? Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> this is not Ardbeg's favorite kind of environment, to be fair. Trees, nature. Doesn't seem like his chair. Rian. Ernest's favorite terrain. Um you <laughs> notice as you're moving that there is like a little pocket of quiet that kind of seems to follow you through the forest, as if things are making normal animal noises, but they're going quiet as you move through, if you see what I mean. So hmm. the things in this space are definitely aware of your presence and are re reacting to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and I will I relay that information. So obviously there is something how going on here. How wide is that zone of silence? Um, like, how far do you think? Like, it, it, it's more like as you're moving through the forest, things near enough to see and hear you are going quiet. So it's not like huge, it's like just your sort of immediate mm. vicinity. So like you can hear birdsong further away, but it's never close to you, if you see what I mean. <laughs> so we in our room, everyone gets quiet, kind of thing. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's just, it, it gives you the sense that, that this... the things around you are definitely aware that you are there and that you perhaps don't belong. Right. So, okay. I'm going to try to scare all the small animals by casting thaumaturgy and like projecting my voice and like making a huge like boom and try to like get them to go away so that we hear easier if someone is following us or something. You can do that. Do you want to do that? Boo. <laughs> The, the area of quiet expands slightly. Hmm. Like Do the, I hear the anyone? natural world is going Do through. I hear steps? Make a perception check. Do I hear steps? Okay, let's see that. I probably don't. 11. 11. I'm getting better, guys. Just get yeah, all these the low rolls out now, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, as I'm getting my high ones out, so then when we fight something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I rolled shite. So, um, you do hear something. You hear, oh. you hear a kind of rustling in one of the trees, and when you glance up, you kind of just out of the corner of your eye catch some movement of something disappearing into the leaves. But you didn't see what it was. Uh. I walk straight to it. To the tree. To the tree. That was where I saw the okay. moving. It was up in a tree. And, and I, oh, okay. Yep. I tried to go at the base of the tree uh -huh. and yell, Hi! <laughs> there is the Although noise not, of someone being uh, very quiet. 
Okay. Uh, I would like to climb the tree. Make a athletics. I would like or, to socialize. Or an acrobatics check to climb the tree. Oh, both are gonna be awful. Either I'm you gonna can go choose. with athletics. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. I ran higher. I'll go with him to give him advantage. Maybe, hopefully. Are you gonna help him, like, push him up the, him the tree? <laughs> Alright, okay. what's the yeah, you have advantage then? Make sure you can he try again. Okay, let's try again. Athletics still... Oh, no, 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 no. I stick with my 14. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Alright, so you managed to climb the tree. Um, reasonably successfully. You're not the most... Um, Mm -hmm. Elegant or dexterous tree climber that anyone has ever seen, but Ooh. you managed to get get up there. Um, make a perception check. Right away. Uh, Twelve. Um, you get up there, and you have the feeling that someone's up there with you, but you can't see them. Okay, I. Put a cookie on one of the branches and just step back a few steps. <laughs> a cookie. Alright, um, make, make, make a persuasion check. Is it oh. cactus? Is it black moss? Is <laughs> Greth, you got a potion yeah. of resistance. Yeah, black... <laughs> that's gonna be a black moss one and that's a nine for persuasion. <laughs> oh my god. How hungry you are lost. you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what are we rolling to jail? I think it's a D. If you look up Potion of Resistance in D and D Beyond, and then there's a bunch of options, just roll whatever dice it is. But I think there's ten, there's either ten or eight. I can't remember off the top of my head. Roll a dice, and that's the resistance you have. Um, there's a long pause, and then you see a. What looks like a hand, but it's it's a like a primate hand. Come out of the leaves, grab the cookie, and disappear like up into the leaves again. D10. Great. Okay. Okay. So you grab the Roll cookie. It. And then you hear some chomping. I... Chomp, 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 chomp. And then the cookie. Okay. You you hear the sound of the cookie being spat out. <laughs> That's extremely rude. That's extremely rude. Okay, I uh, go down the tree and tell to the rest of the party that there is someone with very bad taste on top of that tree. <laughs> okay. Huh. And I stay at the bottom of the tree and pout. Out. And pout. All right. Yep. Do we want to chase this person off, or do we, or creature? Do we care? I think maybe yeah, just keep an eye as we do that. Yeah. I, I can't talk to them, so I don't know. Does anybody else have any ability like that? I do not. Uh, we just got the ability to speak with animals, but... Yeah. Um, I don't know what that would do. Go ahead. Wait, what did you see there? Yeah, is it an animal, or is it a... I don't know. It was... Mostly rude. Primate? Yeah, seems... yeah primate-ish. It, it had what looked like a hand, so... Okay. But but it was... It, it looked more like animal hand than human hand, if that makes sense. But mm. definitely a hand. Mm. Can I... Can I use thaumaturgy to try to have some wind rustle the leaves a bit, so maybe we can see it, drop some leaves and see the uh, shape within. Um, I mean, Thaumaturgy can How certainly rustle the it? leaves, but it's not going to make all the leaves on the tree fall off. Yeah. <laughs> How high is it? Oh, he would have climbed. Yeah, how high up? 10, 15 feet? Uh, I'm gonna use Mage Hand to try and grab at branches and try and pull selectively away, just kind of to poke around and search a little, see if we can get a better view. All right. <laughs> oh, jeez. If, if you're doing that, Harper can help with their Mage Hand as well. Yeah, I have it too. All right. You... <laughs> or Mage Hands, let's just do it. All right. <laughs> In that case, oh, as, you, as you start, like, pulling the branches away from the, the thing, you... 
see some limbs and then a large baboon comes down out of the tree, lands on the ground in front of you and goes, Hoof! Sorry. I throw down my orange slices at it and walk away. He picks one up, sniffs it, starts eating it. It seems to like this a lot more than cookies. <laughs> Since uh, speak with animals last for 10 Over minutes, I will, I, get, I will get my notebook out and uh, start yelling to the primates. So what exactly didn't you like at the cookie? Um, he looks at you and he says, tasted funny. Hmm. It was very okay. sweet. Okay. Uh, for, uh, for the reference, what's your name? My name? Yeah. Bojo. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, so would you like to come down and meet my friends? They are, they are more nicer than I am, so would you like to come down and speak? Uh, he's already done. He came down out of the tree when you started oh, like, sorry. throwing the branches around. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So he's on the ground now in front okay. of me. So I... Oh, okay. So I just go shake his paw. He, like, pulls it back. And was like, what are you doing? Being friendly, but okay, he's not working. Uh, guys, do you have some questions you would like me to relay to him? Yeah, if he knows where a shrine where a shrine. I tried to describe what a shrine looks like. Um, have you seen one of those things nearby? Yes. Try it, maybe. May we know where to? Why? Why not? Mm, it's not normally for people. Oh, who is it for? Us. Trees. Not people. Hmm. Why not? People are... Usually... Hmm... Not great to trees. And yeah, us. but I'm a druid, so I'm just as good as trees as you get. Trees. <laughs> I love nature. I put them in my food. <laughs> nature is food. Food is nature. Yeah, all of that. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like he's very willing to help us right now. Mm -hmm. huh. What happens to people who go near the shrine? Oh, you like it. Mm. He sort of does that thoughtful baboon scratch. And he goes, mm. We will stop you. Oh, we. Who is we? We. And he kind of gestures at the forest just in general. Mm. <sighs> oh. No, it's okay. Nice. So what if we are back to the trees? Can we go to the shrine if we promise not to be mean to It's not for you. Hmm. Ah. And if she can take us there. <sighs> Why would I take you there? For research well, okay, then. Research purposes. <laughs> yeah, we make I sure mean, not to hurt anything on the way there. A harper would like just go somewhere to research it. That is legitimately a thing they would do. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well I guess we're gonna try to find it. Like, we will meet again when you try to stop us, I guess. I suggest okay. you enjoy the forest and stay away. And then what if he... we have a, a gift that we want to leave? Oh, okay. Make a persuasion check, because he was about to bam. Because <laughs> I, I just got gifted this, this lovely um, crown. 
looks like flowers. So, um, pers uh, persuasion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's good. I can persuade. Yeah. Ooh, twenty-seven. <laughs> okay. Um, he's good at persuasion. He's he's about <laughs> to disappear or back up into the tree, and he stops and he turns to you and he goes, "What gift?" So I'll show them the brass crown looks like flowers that Z gave me. Okay. Just say, I want to leave this at the shrine, but I'm not going to put it anywhere where you could grab it from me. <laughs> okay. Um, it's, he a, looked... it's a gift from, from my lady. Hmm. Maybe if you leave it at the bottom. At the bottom of the shrine? At the bottom of the hill. Can you show us what direction it is? Then I can do that. He points in the direction, and then he goes okay. back up the tree and disappears. Is it the same direction that Harper's um, it is. familiar saw? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. <coughs> sure, we have a direction. I called it the rousing success. That was a very high persuasion roll. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a 19 and I have a plus 8, so. Nice. <laughs> That's very cool. Sorcerer charisma, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So Perfect. Shall we follow the path? If we killed it now, he wouldn't be able to come back with his friends. <laughs> you bear. This is nice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He would totally get on us. All right, All right, let's start heading in that direction. All right, who is leading the way? Yeah. Same, I'll be in the front. Can you make a survival okay. check? Either you can both make it, or one of you can do it with advantage, up to you. Um, I can give you advantage, go ahead. Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 19. Take the 19. All right. Yep, so you manage to move your way through the forest fairly uneventfully. You manage to find a route through the... There's, like, no real pathway apart from very vague animal tracks here and there. Um, so you're pretty much having to make your own pathway through this, but you managed to do that quite well. Um, and you... It's, I guess I'm just beating a path with my longsword, right? <laughs> that seems about right, yes. Um... Making heaps of noise and all sorts of things like that because it's hot and humid in this armor. And, <laughs> and I'm, I'm hung over and forgot that I was supposed to do this job today. And now so I'm, I'm a little bit pissed off already by our whole situation. That's on brand. <laughs> all right. Um, can I get anyone who is paying attention to your surroundings to do a perception check, please? I can right do one. All right, let's see. You got it. Go fuck yourself. I, I, noticed, <laughs> I, wa I wasted it on my persuasion. So that's <laughs> a six. That's a six. Yeah. Well, I got a 10, oh, but my five. passive perception is 19. Okay, so your passive perception is better. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Same. Harper has the observant fate, so they're yeah, really good right. at noticing things. I, I got a 22 <laughs> in case I got missed. 22? Nice. Okay. So, Harper and Ardbeg, um, you become aware of the fact that there is definitely more than one something keeping pace with you in the... just in... in, in kind of on the sides just keeping an eye on your progress through this forest. Um, at least one is up in the trees, and there are a couple on the ground as well. You can't see what it is, but there's you're definitely aware of there being something. I'm going to gesture silently and to anyone who's paying attention that uh, we're, we're kind of surrounded and something's following us, but we shouldn't react to it. I'm think. gonna hold the crown out in front of me like I'm taking it to this sacred place and cool. I'm okay. playing it up. Um, uh, Morwen, you have inspiration as well. Oh, yay, thank you. <laughs> I'll try not to. 
the the uh, vote is in whether there's going to be a forest fire yeah, today. I saw so. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> the last time I put dryads in the game, my players set the forest on fire and could never go into a forest again. Just putting it okay. out there. <laughs> This is my first time with Dryad, so live and learn. <laughs> Big crushes his cigarette out very, very carefully. <laughs> and takes the butt with him, I hope. Yeah, he does. He puts yeah. it in his satchel. Good. <laughs> um, All right, I'm walking. Right, All right, so you're just going to keep moving? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, now that we know that they're there, Harper is like kind of keeping an eye on them, but not right. making it super it's, obvious that you're watching. It's pretty clear that it's not all the same kind of thing, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Like there's yeah. different sizes. The forest. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's various things that seem to be following you and paying attention. Okay. Um, you get to within probably half a mile, maybe, of the the thing that you saw um, mm -hmm. and you come out into a, a slightly clearer opening and in it you see the following um, so what am I doing you can see your baboon buddy <laughs> Um, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, over here there is a bear. Um, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of <laughs> bear noises. <laughs> so awesome. I love it. Warthogs. Back here, warthogs. <laughs> I love warthogs. That's why there are warthogs in the forest. There is a wolf. And there is what some of you will recognize as an elk from your buddy Zinkela. Yep. That is what you can currently see. And they're just kind of yes. okay. no pulling, a, pulling a snow white, right? So they're mm -hmm. just like hanging out in the clearing, just sort of looking at you. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck are you doing in my forest? Kind of look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just pass them. No, nothing to see here. I'm just, I'm just acting like I belong here. This is my mission. I'm bringing this crown. It's all good. They don't see any fire spells. But it's all good. <laughs> do they, act, do, do they act like they seem to position themselves in order to prevent us from going one specific direction? They, they're definitely like. Um, Blocking a path. Yeah, and they're all just kind of sitting there staring at you in a way that animals usually don't do um quite intensely i stare back any movement mm -hmm. make a intimidation do. check all right <laughs> prepare sure for very intimidating <laughs> a two <laughs> started back at the bottom of the scale they they are <laughs> winning the staring contest i'm just saying they just stare at you unblinking you first <laughs> yeah i have a drip of sweat going up like this <laughs> yeah. hmm. all right we'll yeah, just uh, keep going as you move in the direction are they blocking our path the shrine or the wolf oh let's just do this sorry oh wrong one wrong one the wolf mm. And the bear are blocking your way. So this is actually mm. not right at all. So this is, you guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. It was more like this. Yeah. Right. That's more closer right. to what you were doing. Yeah. yeah. So the baboon is just sitting there, and the wolf and the bear both move in beside it. Like, this is far enough, is pretty much the, the, the vibe. Mm hmm. And as they do that, the baboon gets up and comes over to you, Morwen. Mm -hmm. And holds a hand out for the crown. By now, your speak with animals will have worn off. By the way, right? For Ten minutes. So I'm, I'm just gonna say in common because, like, oh no, wait, 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 wait. I know. Give me a second. 
I think I know. Um, nope, that's a different character. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I knew Sylvan. I don't know if it would help, but I was going to try it. So I'm just going to say in common, I have to bring this to the shrine. That is the, the instructions I received from my lady. And I'm going to try to walk. Uh, the baboon steps into your way. Pardon me, good sir. I'll try to step around. He is going to... <laughs> Very um, non-threatening, just pardon me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at his... Oh, what? Uh -huh. This is not based on real baboons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is going to just grab your wrist. Oh. And gently, like but firmly, uh -huh. move you back to where you were and hold his hand out again. Okay. We can't see where we're heading yet. No, but you would know, you know, from the kind of the, from the progress EV so that far we're that, in the, that you're like, I don't know, close, close, half a mile, okay. what's half a mile? That's like a kilometer, right? Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, um, roughly that kilometer. distance. Uh, Harper is standing so... behind, kind of lean over and just whisper in her ear, make some chaos and cast invisibility on Morrowind. Oh, oh okay. I was gonna. Do, I was gonna be like, can I do something? Like, or can we go now? Because I had a little something up my sleeve. But now right. I'm invisible. Now I you're invisible. It. As soon okay. as that invisibility is, is he happens. Still touching me. Okay. The no, he stepped back because he gave you another chance to give okay. up the crown. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. as soon as that happens, the wolf is going to step closer. So wait, more when you're actually in front now, right? Yes. And Harper is not here. Roughly? Right. Yeah, because yeah, they would have had to touch my the wolf thing. I don't is know. gonna go up here. Uh, I could like, cast it around. through Evie. Oh, okay. okay. So ha All Harper right. would still be back and then cool. Evie would have just kind of like landed gently on Morwen's yep. head and then fluttered All off right. again. So the wolf kind of goes around the the back of the baboon and takes up that space and is now growling. Okay. Can I go over here now that I'm invisible? Yes. Do make I need to make a stealth, stealth check, check or something? Stealth? stealth? Okay. Because a lot of these With things... Advantage. That's a six. With advantage? You have advantage because you're Oh, I have advantage. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So much better. This is a 17 <laughs> plus the... Uh, 19. Uh, oof, that was close. But no, the wolf does not smell your mm. movement, it turns out. I didn't. There again. You have moved close to the bear, though. <laughs> the bear might. <laughs> didn't that? want him to know where I was at, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But they, you're dealing with animals, and a lot of animals don't use sight as their primary sense. So. No, I, yeah. Yeah, so the bear rolled a 21. So okay. you move there and you watch the bear go yeah. and then move its head to where you are. So the bear clearly knows okay. where you are. Right. Yeah. All right. The baboon is going to like go up on its hind legs and beckon to Wazatim because you were the one talking to it earlier. I will just, I will just sit and stare, not and moving. Just stay where you are. Yep. He goes. <sighs> hmm. And waits. Okay, I get closer. I get closer and see what he wants. He wants us to leave. <laughs> so. It's pretty clear. So, in that case, I'm going to walk right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Just to be. He's roughly the same size as me, I guess. Yeah, probably. You're a um, gnome, so yep. And as soon as I'm close enough to be w in front of him, I sit again on the floor and just stare. Standing my ground. Well, sitting my ground. Sitting your ground, okay. He and, just... And this, this creek here, I'm trying to grab a few pebbles from the floor, just a few rocks. Make a slice of hand check. Uh, 
And I cast Magic Stone on them. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's going to be... Slide of Hand, that's going to be a 14. What is Harper, it how long does invisibility last? Uh, an hour. Oh, nice. Yeah, even if I... Trick. Even if I do uh, by attack, does it go away, though? Uh, yeah, so if yeah. you attack or cast the spell, it Okay, works. okay. Um, the baboon doesn't seem to notice your sneaky stone lifting. Okay. I have the stone at the ready in case they try to do anything shady. Um, Shadier. <laughs> you notice a... While this is happening... A second wolf coming out of the trees, and on the other side... A large wild boar. Hmm. It's facing that way on the picture, but it's facing you in the in real life. They're just kind of they're not the threatening, mm. but they're just kind of uh. making a circle of like, yeah, nah, this right. is far enough. Uh, yeah, we didn't want it to I come to this. But I, I think, I think it's time. time. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna cast Misty Step. Okay. And get out of here. Let me see how far away I can do that. Thirty feet, Misty Seppers. Thirty feet. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as, as soon as that finishes, you would become visible again. Right. Yeah. But if I get okay, so ten, twenty, there, so I can get up here. Yep. Okay. So I just cast Misty Step. Mm hmm Let me mark Which that off. Which means you Boom. you have come. You're not invisible anymore. Right. Um. As soon as that happens, the bear is going to turn. You can see me, yeah. yeah. And I think at this point we might need to roll in a Yes, show. yes, yeah. yes. Okay. yeah. So shit's getting yeah. real. That, that was a bonus action, <laughs> yeah. so I can also do an action if I have a surprise attack. I'm going to just do this, because that helps me. Alright, so... Would I have a surprise as well, considering I was holding the stone until they seem angry? <laughs> uh, we'll get Maybe to that. Give me a second. Okay. Let me just... Because mm -hmm. there's a lot going on here. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of creatures that want us to Yeah, stop. I did not want to be in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah, I feel slightly <laughs> less exposed now that you're standing next to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna try and handle the big guy. I completely torn because two of these creatures are uh, spirit animals of mine. For yeah. my religion. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Leave those to us. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of others to choose from. I'd rather not see them harmed, to be fair. Just look the other way. This is. I'd be in diplomacy. Does not go well. It's it's amusing because <laughs> Arbeck is usually such a murder hobo. Oh, hang on. That's... Uh, okay. I, I, I tried to tell him a pretty story. Anyone over twenty? Oh, let me see. I rolled an eighteen. Uh, a twenty. Okay. So, what is your dexterity, please? Uh, my dexterity is. Plus two. Fourteen. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone... Let's just do this. Nineteen. No? Cool. Eighteen. Seventeen? <laughs> wow. Awesome. Sixteen. Cool. The animals again, all the animals eat you alive. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> the fire might be coming out. <laughs> fourteen. I got fourteen. Fourteen. Right here. Oh, th wait, that's a, everyone's fourteen. Okay, so Dexy, Dexy, Dexy. Okay. Who's probably Gref? Gref, what's your dexterity? Uh, my dex. Yeah, my dex is eighteen. 
18. Brian? Uh, 12. I'd be. Alright, that's what I thought. Alright, so, Griff, Brian, I'd be. That was 14, right? Yep. 13? 12. 11. 10. <laughs> this is amazing. 9. 8. 7. Oh no. 6. Keep going. Wow. Oh my goodness. 5. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> Four? Four. Four. Oh. Was it him? Mm-hmm. Oh. Three? Nope. Two? <gasps> yes, I got a two. What's, your dexterity? <laughs> What's your dexterity? What's your dexterity? It's either 12 or 13, let me check. Ah, uh, 13. So, plus okay. one. Alright, so... Yeah. Harper. Cool. Yeah, sleep would be a good one. One, two, three, four. Oh, I left one out. I'll just put you at the end. That's easier than trying to figure out where you were. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, it All was right. kind of interesting being plugged into the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. Oh, did I leave Naya, that? Naya, don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry, bear with me one moment, please. <laughs> we'll be like splashing the creatures. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm in sorry. that case, <laughs> Morwen, <laughs> you Crown's start on the head. this initiative. It's just for okay. show. Right. Just, yeah. just flare. Yeah. And I am gonna cast a uh, ray of frost at the bear. At the bear. Okay. At the bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the one. All right. So that is. A spell attack. Ten, 18. I'm trying to find him. Hang on. Uh, 18 hits, yes. Okay, so that's 2d8. That is 3. Cool. 3 water damage. <laughs> Excellent. I really didn't want to hurt him, see. He roars in anger. Should have just let me pass, dude. It's just my crown. <laughs> okay. Um, as he roars, let's just uh -huh. do this so that people can see what's potting a little bit better. Uh, out of this tree over here comes a swarm of bugs. Oh no. And no. And it is I going to <laughs> attack you. These oh, are not friendly bugs. I, <laughs> it, so I did the misty step as a bonus. Did I get that? Oh no, sorry. Surprise? Yes, you can. And then yes. now so I you have, have, you have a bonus action. Okay. Yes. So that actually hasn't no. happened yet. My bad. Okay. Sorry. Well, I, I was going to cast. Um, that's all right. I'm gonna, I was going to cast um, <clears throat> mirror image. Yep. So now there's a bunch of me. Let me Come. see how many. Um, three, so I have me plus three illusions, and I roll d a d20 when I'm attacked to see which one it hits. All right, so, so the one with the heart that, is you, and then I'm going to just okay. put a couple more on there. Oh, okay. And then you can, I'll make it so you can control roll, them. Okay. So how many, sorry? And three, did you say? Three, three illusions. One, two, three. So that so for my bonus action, I'm gonna do a, um, a firebolt. Is your bonus action I mean. not? Oh, sorry, I see what you mean. That's a that's a um, cantrip, right? Yeah. Cantrip. Okay. So yeah. firebolt is a ten, which I'm guessing does not hit the bear. The bear? No. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't. Okay. All right. Was that a fireball yeah. noise? Or a ray of frost noise? Yes, frost noise? yes. Okay, so. We may or may not have a forest fire, I don't know. Um, these bugs are gonna come, so you roll to see which of them it hits. 
Yes, so I roll a d20. Let me see. That's an 11. Let me see. Three. Um. Okay, with three, I must roll a six or higher to change. So it's, I rolled an 11, so it hits one of the other ones. Okay, cool. Um, so they are going and to... And I think, does it go away once it gets hit? I believe so, yes. Yeah. So they're going to swarm this one here. Oh, sorry. So they, they do have an AC that is uh, 12. I just turned you by mistake. Um, the mirror image, all right. So it is going to yeah, attack. Yeah, the ACs are 12. So that is a 17. That hits. So they, it's basically this like cloud of various different kinds of insects and bugs that come out of this tree and just swarm around your mirror image and start biting it. And I guess as soon as they attack it, it disappears. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. As long as they hit it, it disappears. So that one is gone. So it actually okay. was in, in the same space as them. So that's the insects. Then, out of the trees at the back here comes a large snake and it is going to try to grapple wrap itself around Greth basically so Greth I need oh no I make an attack roll for that That's a uh, 21. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna burn a shield. I, and, and it's not gonna work. Okay. Alright, so it, it does not succeed in hitting you. So it like, it, it comes in and like, yeah, I just sort of rears up you. and starts trying to wrap around you and you just dodge it. Using your monk shit. Um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> And then, because the rest of you rolled really bad. It's badly. a gift thing, I can take a shield on <laughs> This elk over here. Oh, wait, no, that's not the elk. What do I want? You. There are two deer. Because you're fucking with the whole forest now. Um, I'm going to come out here and attack Rianth. Which is basically just a bite. Mm. So that is a seventeen. Yep. And a better. Twenty-one. That uh, hits. Alright. So this deer is going to try to bite you. Oh, it's going to bite you. Mm. Not very well. That's only three points of piercing damage. From the deer. The other one missed. Then it's the baboon. The baboon is gonna stand up, grab Wazitim by the shoulders, and pull him towards him, and just like bury his teeth or attempt to bury his teeth into your shoulder, Wazitim. Yes. No, that's a natural one. So he missed. I just put the head aside and. <laughs> All right. Um, those can wait. Great, you're up. All right. Um, let's see here. Aha. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, as a bonus action, I'm going to uh, use our um arms of the astral self, and uh, <laughs> you're gonna see spectral uh, ten foot long arms kind of pop out of my body, and I will be able to attack the big warthog and the snake and they need to pass a hold on let's see here they need to pass um i do i never remember this one uh <laughs> forgive me i didn't have to look this guy up um uh dc 16 um uh dex check sorry dc 16 dex check so that's the snake mm -hmm. Alrighty. And the large bowl. Yeah. The so border. that is an 11, so that's a fail oh, for the snake. This elk here. How many arms do you get? Hit two, but they kind of spin around and hit anybody I oh, use within 10 feet. Oh, wow. Cool. Alright. Yep. 
so that is a deer, not an elk. It makes a difference for me, it doesn't matter for you really, that's a fail. <laughs> and the boar. Oh, that's probably good. What's a dex, you said? Yeah, dex. So that's a 17 for the boar. 16. So the, the snake and the yeah. deer fail. The boar succeeds. Um, they, both, they both take 10 damage. Okay. Um, and that's my bonus action. And the deer. That's your bonus action. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, the deer is dead. And for my action. Alright. The deer doesn't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> Bye! Alright. <clears throat> Graf does what he must. Yep. <laughs> uh, he's gonna use his action to, uh, to, uh, to punch the snake first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Punch the snake. Oh, yes, uh, that'll be 16. I'm pretty sure that hits. Snake. Yes. Or, seriously, six uh, points of force damage. Six? Yeah, that's enough. That snake is also dead. You just punched him and he just falls to the ground hissing sadly. Uh -huh. No more snake. And then I'm gonna use my last attack to punch the big boar. Or, that's okay. not my punches, our reach weapon. Yep. So, I need my dice to stop rolling. 12 to hit. Oof. That hits. They're oh, just ah. animals. Oh, good. Yeah. Works. I hope it. He seemed pretty. And I'm rolling real bad for damage. Six points of force damage to the boar. Alright. Because we don't really want to hurt the animals, we just yes, want to get through the forest. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm just using bludgeoning damage. Technically, they could wake up later. Uh, yeah. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it, but it's you're just knocking them out. Is that what you're trying to say? All right, that's great. Yeah. That's yeah. you. Are you doing anything idea. else? And uh, that's uh, all I got. I don't want to move, otherwise I uh, won't be my Reach won't be able to uh, protect uh, Harper if anything comes towards her from the other direction. No. <laughs> awesome. I'm just kind of sitting on me here. All right, Rian, you're up. All right. Um. Well, I think I will try and attack this deer first okay. for my first attack. So that is my longsword. Uh, 23 to hit, which I'm pretty sure Probably. is going to hit the deer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a... Uh, and that's 11 points of damage. Uh, yep, that deer is dead. Was it him? You got, just got given a legendary resistance. Ooh. That means that oh, once, lucky. at some mm. point today, if you fail the save, you can just decide to succeed. <laughs> the, gods, the gods smile upon The gods have you. smiled upon you, yeah. indeed. Alright, Rian, sorry. You, as, you killed the deer. Yeah. So, just gonna move forward and attack the bear. Okay. For her second attack. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. That will hit. So, she's gonna um, also use. So it's 13 points of damage, but she's also going to use a psionic die okay. um, to do it that way. Let's see. Psionic power. So that's another 9. So uh, a total of 22. Yeah, so the bear is dead. Oh. He just roars in sadness and falls to the ground. Poor bear. That's your turn? Yeah. That's my turn. Bad pick. Rip bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to move forward and try and grapple the chimpy. 
Okay. And put my dagger to his throat in an intimidating way. Okay. Like to try and stop stop everybody's like hold on just just a goddamn minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so that's Make a contested a... string. Yes. That's exactly what I was gonna say. This is why I was so mad, because baboons are really strong in real oh, life. Sh shit. But not in D D apparently. I wouldn't worry. And... I'm gonna have to roll the yeah, no, that's a two. No, I got nine. Yeah, so you have him grappled. Make an intimidation um, check. Are you saying anything, or are you just? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna shout out like, wait just a goddamn minute or something for that effect. <laughs> Try okay. and get everyone's attention whilst, and I'm, I'm holding a dagger to his throat. All right. So. Make a intimidation check. Oh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Nice. All right, you watch as nice. the wolves, who are the most aggressive looking at this point in time, since the bear got dead, um, go from being like completely hackles raised, ready to jump, and they stop and they like sit, and they've still like got that hackles raised fur thing, and there's still a vague growl, but there's a moment of like, okay, let's see what how this plays out going on there. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make some form of gesture that I don't want to harm the monkey, but I will if they don't back the fuck up. Um. And how, I don't know how you want me to portray yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was gonna be my question. How, how are you? How are you trying to make this understood? Um. I guess by like moving the dagger away, like so, and sort of eyebrows up. Like, okay. I'm not, I don't want to kill him, oh, I okay. will. I mean... We just want to deliver the crown, and I'm going to say that in public. Yeah, alright. Okay. They appear to be waiting. Like, they haven't completely backed away, but they're... They've they've gone from being like, full on, I'm, I'm about to jump and rip your throat out, to like, okay, we're going to wait and see how this plays out. If that makes sense. Alright. The baboon is making huge, like, lo lots of noise. Lots of baboon noise, but you don't speak baboon, so you don't know what it's trying to tell you. And no one currently has speak with animals up, do they? No. It was the, the, the bear growling that brought the insects, or the timing seemed like the bear... It seemed like you attacked, so they attacked. Yeah. Is what that was. Yeah. Okay. So it was a, a response to you attacking. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, that brings us to... Everybody just kind of waits at this stage. Nobody else moves. Was it him? Your turn. What are you doing? Hmm. I'm conflicted. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted to smash the monkey, but yeah, I'm gonna use my uh, boon from the lady to cast speak with animals. Okay. As an action, and I will. As soon as you do that, strongly... yeah. the baboon goes from making random noises to hmm. you can hear what he's saying, and he is just fucking swearing at Ardbeek. What the fuck do you think you're doing to me, you fucking human? I'm not blah, blah, blah. Like, just raving at him. Like, he's not happy about the situation. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> okay, thank I'm you. Calm, so, calm down, or he's gonna get perforated. <laughs> so, as with bonus action, I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy to amplify my voice, uh -huh. and I will shout at him as strong as I can. Listen here, you piece of shit. <laughs> we are going to go through, you are going to step aside, unless you want to finish, let your buddies over there on the floor die. Am I clear? Make an intimidation check. Get me up there. Yeah. Can I help him no, see? I was gonna say, does he have advantage yeah, you, you since he's like being grappled? You can have advantage grapple? since yeah. Ardbeg has a knife to his throat. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, there was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you are not rolling well tonight. No, no, but that's better, that's gonna be 18. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so he settles down, and he is staring daggers at you. But he goes, fine, we'll let you get to the bottom of the stairs. Gonna and he give like, him a shake. he I calls give out, him a of... and everybody else just kind of backs down a little bit. Okay. Can I give him a little I... shake? As in, the bottom of the stairs isn't good enough. You can do better. Intimidate. Sure. Uh, effects. Does, does, does he understand when somebody else talks to him? No, or but he, he, he understands the, the shaking, maybe. Okay, oh, as he I... shakes it, um, I, I try to relay the same kind of okay. thread. Yep. So how does it go? Does he try to intimidate him? Artbeck is trying to, to intimidate. Yes, so I got an eight. An eight, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. That's on top of the like translation, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's just like, um, the shrine is not for you. You can leave the thing, your, your gift, at the bottom of the stairs. Let, let's just get to the bottom of the stairs first and we can re renegotiate yeah. then. It's yeah. easier yeah. for them to, uh, it's easier for us to negotiate more there than it's going to be, right. you know, theoretically yeah. in the future. I agree. Or there, um, to say no. I'd, at this point, uh, I'd like to hog tie the um, baboon, <laughs> and he's coming with us. <laughs> so we're taking all of this plan. He well, is gonna fight to you, so let's do another strength contested strength thing. Oh. That's a nice twenty for now. Yes, we are. Twenty. Natural. Right, I'll activate my... No, not natural. Mine was natural. <laughs> so you go to tie the baboon and he just like flails around and smacks you and like scurries Can off I use my up a tree. Yes. Well, it's a natural 20. Okay, so no. I feel like maybe no. Okay. So, oh shit. So he's, he's broken free. Yes, so he has... No, I just tried to move him on the OBS screen. That doesn't work. He's gonna break free and run. I mean, you can get an attack of opportunity if you want, Artvik. Can I try and grapple him as he runs away again? Mm, not unless you have an attack that has a grapple thing. Or sentinel since or something he, of that nature. Since, since, he grabbed, since he grabbed me earlier when he left, I would also get an attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, so I will take one of my uh, magic... I will take one of my magic stones and throw it at his butt. Okay. <laughs> Make an attack roll. Yep. That's going to be... 14. That hits. Okay. Ooh, for uh, 8 points of damage. 8 points of damage. 8 points of butt damage. Your stone <laughs> hits the baboon, and the baboon dies. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have a lot of hit points. He doesn't have a lot of hit points. Hmm. No he was, he he was, had a problem. He was unreasonable. I don't know. Yeah. To be fair, guys, if I have learned one thing last week, is that butt damage is devastating. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. That is true. That is the lesson you took take away from. Please don't yeah. cross the card. <laughs> Reading butts. All right, when you do that and the baboon dies, both the wolves stand up and start growling again. Because this was a fucking tentative oh, truce, and you guys just broke it immediately. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. Okay, uh... Think... Can, I, can I try oh, yeah. use animal handling to, like, calm the wolves down, because I... Really don't want to attack wolves. Please don't. <laughs> um, what are you doing to try and calm them? Like just like opening my arms up, looking all vulnerable, and like we're not a threat here. We just want to pass. Make a yeah, okay. Animal handling or persuasion. I will accept either. Uh, grab yeah. his and to give him guidance. All right, we have guidance. So that's an additional 1d4. Ha, <laughs> that's a natural one, so... <laughs> they just continue to growl. Now that inspiration! 
that I doubt will help. I mean, no. crits are crits. <laughs> is the thing. Yeah. 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 Alright, so they're growling. <laughs> Right. So are we falling back into initiative, or...? Well, it depends on what you do at this point. I'm just gonna try and walk past them. Yeah, if we just keep moving and if they come we attack, just... Uh, am yeah. I going the right way or is it the other way around that? It's, I was, it real. kind of follows the river, was my... Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> but that's fine. Gonna, that's gonna, right, I'll move! I'm gonna try sideways <laughs> past them too. Alright. Griffel. All right. I feel like they just watched you kill their friend I mean, even after he, 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 you made him friend. Animals, he's gonna kill him. So, I'm gonna Go say, ahead. yes, we're gonna drop back into initiative at this point because yeah. you, you yeah. made a deal and then you killed him. <laughs> so, hmm. So I'm gonna say, Harper, well, you're up. Yeah. I get a turn. Yep. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Um, so, Harper is going to basically just firebolt. Who are you firebolting? Firebolt, uh, at the big-ass boar that's okay. over the other side of Grey. Yep. Let's start with that Warthog. one. Warthog! Yeah. That's not a war. Uh, Wait, the oh, big one? The big one. Is a the big one is a boar, the, the small thing. one's a warthog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the little one's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A 17 to hit. Yes, that is going to hit. Yeah, he's not that interesting. Uh, he's a boar. 15 points of fire damage. <laughs> yeah, so that boar is dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then they're going to turn around and firebolt the closest warthog to them with their bonus action. Okay. Uh, that is a, <laughs> a big dirty secret 20. A druid. <laughs> Sorry, what? I missed that. Tra dirty tra 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 yes, that's gonna hit. Uh, and that is 14 points of fire damage. Yeah, so I he's, he's also dead. I didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then Harper's just gonna well, like. Joel jump. appears. <laughs> yeah. Further away and like slightly behind Grith and hope that nothing comes out of the forest behind Harper, him. Harper, <laughs> please will you roll a d20 for me? Oh no. <laughs> Six. Let me say the forest still smells like bacon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, the forest does smell like bacon now. Alright. Um, cool. Uh, as you do that, to. Oh, what am I? Here. Okay, bacon cookies will be okay. Out of mm. these trees on the side come two... Bacon maple cookies. <laughs> large owls. Oh, oh no. no. Small owls. They're small owls. <laughs> owls? <laughs> Little owls. Oh. Are um, we getting personally attacked? Regular one size owls. Wolves, the one who has an owl companion? I don't know. I feel no, like Amy just... is like on top of Harper's head and is just trying to assert her dominance. <laughs> <laughs> they are both gonna attack like, you because so. you killed some things. Ugh. So that is a 10 and a no. 19. The 19 will hit you. Oh. Yeah. You, you got inspiration, Harper? Yay. Chat sent you inspiration. Thanks, Tori. Um, <laughs> That's two points of talons in your face. So the talons just kind of glance off the arcane ward and Harper doesn't actually take any damage. Okay. Cool, this warthog. I keep trying to do it on the OBS one. It's really funny because that's not the screen that I can move things on. <laughs> um, is going to... How far can you go, little warthog? He is going to run over and jump the little stream and... Headbutt was it him? I'm at me. I'm That's protected. An 18. That hits. That hits. That is four points of bludgeoning damage being headbutted by a warthog. And I need you to make a strength save. Okay. Three. <clears throat> you fall over. You are so surprised by this warthog headbutting you that you fall over, you are now prone. 
Okay. Okay. That brings us back to the top, okay. Morwen. Okay. So, the wolves seem like they're the most... The wolves are pissed. You okay. made a deal and then you so... broke the deal immediately. <laughs> so they're pissed. No. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to take up this one. Yes. Um, <coughs> let's do lightning bolt and let's win it so I can get both. Oh, wait, how far away is that? 100 feet. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So we're going to do lightning bolt. And twin that to get both um, wolves. Wolves. Okay. And that's a deck 16 save. Okay. Hmm. And that's, um, yeah, third level. Okay. That's Cox, who was almost in the elm of God. Those are both eights. Yay, 86. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know if you well, need to bother, to be honest. We'll find out. Hang on, I have a lot of things. Okay. Here we go. Woo! Okay, 16... 24. Yeah. Both of them get 24. Both of them are super dead. They just get shocked and fall down dead. Okay. Anything else? Um, who else is... Let's see, we have an owl still menacing us, so I can do a bonus action cantrip. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's do a um, firebolt. And I can twin that as well and get both of those. Okay. Yeah, How many right. sorcery points do you have? Out of curiosity. Um, I've used, that's my third one I've used. Yeah. And I have... Um... It says sorcery points. Where does it say how many? Five, I have nine. Okay. Cool. So I've used this as my third one. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna twist it. Oh, that's a two. Plus eight, ten. To hit. Ten for the owls. Let's have a look here. Yeah, no, nah, that misses. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alrighty. Um, you're gonna get attacked by bugs again. Not yet. Because right, it's turn so... was while you were waiting. All right, now I have to roll an eight or higher to see if it hits me. Yep. Oh, natural twenty! What a All waste! Right. But it hits so somebody it's else. Hit this one. Yeah. Uh, I've got to find my swarm of insects. Here we go. All right, that is a nineteen to hit. Yep, they're so decent. They're, um, this one 12, so, yeah. is also gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just me running from the bugs, just... <laughs> cool, so the ones yeah. that didn't come out yet are gonna now come out and attack Artbeck. These are weasels! Oh. Oh, oh boy. They're technically giant weasels, because that's the only kind of weasel you get in d d it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everything in this forest is just bigger. <laughs> I mean, except the owls, because they're tiny. Yeah. Oh, that's probably not going to hit you. Eleven? No, not even close. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that's twenty-four, the second one. That hits. Ah, so one of the weasels manages to bite you. Oh, they actually have pretty good bite. That's six points of piercing damage. You've been bitten by a weasel on the ankle. Or Is he possibly gonna start practicing war now? Possibly that. The weasel has rabies. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. 
So do I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. And then also, um, a, a second swarm, this time of spiders. <laughs> This is why I asked about arachnophobia. Comes down uh -huh. out of this tree and is going to attack Greth. So Greth, you are now covered by a swarm of spiders. Sorry about that. Um, All right. <laughs> it, it happens. They are going to bite you a lot. They will try. They will try. That's a natural twenty. Oh. So. I'll hit then. <laughs> you what? You'll hit them. Oh, it'll hit them. Oh, yes. That'll hit you then. It sure will. Alright, so. That is six, seven, eight, nine. Plus. Oh, no, that's four. Nine points of piercing damage from being bitten by a swarm of spiders. That is now all over your body. You're covered in the little fuckers. The, if they're radioactive, that could work out for you. <laughs> if. Possible. That's a big if. Yeah. Right, then this elk, who was chilling last time. Just chilling over there. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know if he can get to you. One, two, three, four. It's, it's been Kayla watching us just shaking her head. He's <laughs> <laughs> also going after no. you because you're the closest to it, I'm afraid. It is going to ram you. Attempt to ram you. Oh, it can charge too. Cool. Alright. Ram. 16 plus 5. 21. Greth. Yeah, that hits. Alright. So you are going to take one of those. Three of those because it's charging. Eleven plus three is fourteen points of damage, and I need you to make a strength save, please. Roll the two for a total of seven. So you are also knocked over, and you are now prone on the ground with an elk rearing over you, covered in spiders. Congrats! <laughs> it's your turn, Grace. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's your turn. Alright, uh... So, I'll stand up then. Okay. And I, I will punch this owl first. You're punching the owls, okay, yep. With your magic arms. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're astral arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, uh, Leave our wizard alone. <laughs> wait for my deck to catch up to me. Come on. Come on. Stop rolling. One to hit. How many, sorry? 21 to hit. Yes, that hits. Points of force damage. The owl is dead. Alright, and I'll use another attack to hit this guy. Okay. The other owl. Yep. Gonna be a 26 to hit. Yep. Or 9 damage. That owl is also dead. Uh, I'm gonna... Can I just punch the spiders? Yeah, I mean, you could, like... Do the slappy slappy thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can do that. Except they're using it with these ten, ten foot long, like astral uh, arms. <laughs> yeah, right, to arm like smack the plus spiders. <laughs> I mean, it'd be easier to reach someone with a 24 to hit them. That hits, yes. Yeah. 10 points of damage to the spider swarm. Alright. <laughs> um, some of the spiders are dead. Some of them are still there. Uh, that's all I got right now. I used half my movement to get up, but I'm... Um, right. Yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. 
Okay, Rian. Shoot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't really move anywhere. Um, so I'm gonna actually just attack first this uh, warthog. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. Just. Um, and that is not gonna hit. Probably it's a ten. Ten is its AC. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Thank goodness. So that would be... <laughs> Astral Mr. Fantastic Slappy Slappy Damage. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Seven <laughs> points of... Um... <laughs> Seven, Seven points, points of... Um... Mm -hmm. That is a dead water damage. Bye-bye, Pumba. All right. Then I'm going to turn around and attack this weasel here. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. That is a 20 to hit. Yes, I'm pretty sure that hits. I don't actually have it up, but I'm pretty sure that hits. Yep. And that is 10 points of damage. On the weasel? That weasel is also On dead. The weasel. I don't have a lot of hit points, that's why there are so many of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let's see, have you got anything fun? Um, no, I think that's going to be it for my turn. Okay. Artbeck. You have an, a weasel um, hanging onto your leg. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack him. <laughs> with, me, with, with me longsword. <clears throat> 18 to hit? Yes. Uh, 10 points of slashing damage. That weasel is also dead. That little weaver is gonna be bad. It's just gonna be us and the bugs. <laughs> yep. Anything else, Artbeck? Um. Huh? Nah, nah, that's me. I'll, I'll hold that. Alright. Um, <laughs> out of the trees. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. Come. Two badges. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Both coming for Wazatum <laughs> because he's right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they know. It is like Arch they know. Nemesis. He doesn't need those right. sneaky badgers. They are badger, badger, badger. <laughs> going to try to bite you. Art, uh, well, not Artvik, sorry. Was it of course they are. Of course they are. That yeah. is. <laughs> that is a natural 20 from one. Ooh. And a okay. 21 from the other. Ooh. Both hits. Both hits. Uh, was it Tim, you've been given inspiration again, by the way. Thank you. Um, alrighty, so... It's not a lot, but it is a net 20, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm it? gonna... Yeah? I'm gonna do as a reaction. Um, I have something, some kind of psionic power that uh, allows me to um, track some uh, of that damage. Okay. So whatever the damage is from that natural twenty, reduce it by nine. Okay. I think that's gonna be zero then. Um, five oh, nice. plus four is nine. So you take no damage. <laughs> no damage. Thanks to. I am protected. Yeah. You are invincible. <laughs> yep. Positive is going to firmly believe he is invincible. Unkillable. <laughs> we don't need no stinking badgers. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, oh, the boars are dead. <laughs> mm. That means I've only got very few things left in my arsehole. Oh, no, wait, there's another one that I never brought out. He's going to come out and attack you guys. Here he is. Where is he coming from? Here, he's gonna attack Harper. Oh no. So, <laughs> he, he is Darn a boar. It. A boar. Mm -hmm. Um... He is going... No, that's not good. Ten? 
that misses. That misses. Well, that's annoying. All right. Um, that brings us to uh, these guys. Who are gonna fly down from these trees and attack Rian. This is a swarm of ravens. So you are being just, oh there's boy. a swarm of ravens that have come out of the, the tree over there and are mm -hmm. mobbing you. So. Do look on the right side. Well, plenty to eat after this. <laughs> Uh, that's 12. I don't think that hits you, does it? No, no it All does right. not. So they're just in your face. Lots of ravens yeah. going... Flappy, flappy. Was it, Tim? You're up. Uh, I cry. <laughs> Very deeply. I stay on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna try to... Through my tears, say, you cannot hurt me, I'm protected. And as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. And as an action, I'm going to turn to Gress, saying, uh, I help you, you help me, okay? And I'm going to cast a second level Cure Wounds at Gress. Okay. So that's going to be... 11 points of healing. Cool. So Gress, you have 11 points uh, of healing. Gress is... Deal. <laughs> cool. Anything else? And I cry some more. And that's my okay. turn. Cool. Uh, Harper. Alright, uh, Harper is not a fan of spiders, even if they're crawling all over somebody else. <laughs> so they're just going to pass magic missile at the spiders. Okay. <laughs> the spiders are on Griff's body. Yes. Uh -oh. Alright. Make an attack roll. Is it magic missile though? It's magic missile auto hits. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I thought about that one. <laughs> Good call. Good All right. call. <laughs> Alright, there's three, six, eight, plus one for each, so that is eleven points of force damage. Force damage. Okay. Yep. You have killed all but one spider. <laughs> all of them die except one that crawls up and gives you the finger from Griss' shoulder. <laughs> um, hey, like my statue. Yeah. It's the, it's the, it's, it's the bitchy spider. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it goes <laughs> laser and sees so right way right right across the, uh, the boar next to them. Okay. That's the natural 20. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean... Bore no more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. Uh, so 10 plus 5 plus 8 is... Matt, 23. Is a lot damage. more hit points than the boar has. <laughs> it is dead. You guys are just standing in this forest clearing, surrounded by animal corpses right now, that's what's I going on. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We're just trying to walk through the forest. I mean, it's pretty grim. It's pretty grim. Yeah. Like your own goddamn business. But it's this sacred <laughs> place. This is, the... <laughs> this is the weirdest happy episode of Happy Tree Friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh Alright, a, of... no. <laughs> a lot of things are dead, so it's more insane. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's let's get one of them badgers. All right. Let's do. Uh, right. <laughs> Animal Planet. You know, I, it's right there. I'm just gonna take my quarter staff and try to, you know, smack, smack it. it. Maybe I don't need to use magic. All right. Let me, Anyway, let me see what I got going. Okay. That's a 14. To hit? Yes. Yeah. Hits. Okay. So, I didn't have anything else on my hand, so I used both hands. I could do a D8. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, let's see, three. I don't get any extra damage because I'm not strong, so three points of damage. Badges have three hit points. Oh, wow. I was like, do I need to do a bonus? <laughs> 
okay. Um, so well, wasn't gonna... it, you watch more when just come and smack this badger and it just falls down dead. Alright, I'm gonna come up over here. Actually, can I go over here and flank this one? You know that that's your mirror Oh, image, that's right? not me, that's not yep. me. This is yep. me. Yeah. So, um, I'll move this over here. That's just mm -hmm. for show. Um, and then I'm gonna do a, uh, do what a bonus action can I do? A, um, oh yeah, let's do chill touch. That one's fun. That okay. is a chill touch. That's 17 to hit? Yes. 2d8. <laughs> That's 13 damage. Worst thing spell ever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that that badger Necrotic, yeah. <laughs> just, like, gets completely withered up it's and... Integrate, yeah. 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 So I move... Once two my... times as a halo around the whole one. Yeah. <laughs> Did I move, like, 10 or 15 feet from where I was? Um, you were next to the bugs, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, 15 probably. 15? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to try to keep moving along. Just We just want to walk. Just okay. Here's where we're going, and I'll move my little friend over here with me. Cool, okay. cool. That's me. Alright, the one thing I have left in my arsenal... Uh oh, mm -hmm. here it comes. Uh -oh. Is... T-Rex. It's yeah. coming up behind me now, isn't it, right? That's alright, <laughs> I can match the T-Rex. I'm ready it's, to go. <laughs> it's another swarm of bugs is what it is. So oh, that's, that, no. that swarm of bugs is going to attack you. This swarm of bugs is going to come down and attack Wazitim because you're right there. So, okay, then, oh. so now I have to roll higher than an 11 for this last one. Yep. But I have to Four. attack. I have to attack first. Yeah. So let me do that. Uh -oh. Although, okay. although yeah. before you attack, I, I would like those bugs to make a wisdom saving throw because I have sanctuary on myself. The ones attacking you. Yep. Yep. So I'm gonna attack him more one first. That's oh, a twenty. That's a twenty. Yeah, and I rolled a four, so it hits, so it hits me. You. Not, not that. Mm -hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> You're just dodging and weaving this whole time. That's not very good. Nine. Nine points okay. of. Insect bitey damage, and then okay. the, the, the other swarm has to make a wisdom save. Yep. Uh, ten. Ah, ten was a DC. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. bring it on. <laughs> bitey, bitey, bitey. Nineteen. <laughs> that hits. Excellent. I should have just attacked you with insects, they're much more effective than the animals. Ooh! Sure. 10... 21 points of insect bitey Ooh. damage. Technically piercing. Oh. That was a much oh, higher roll. That was five, three fives and a six. Yeah. That was good. Alright. That's... I'm protected. I'm protected. That's the insects. Um... The one remaining spider is going to try to bite Griff. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was really good. Uh, <laughs> that is a 22 to hit. I assume that hits you. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Yes, I it does. I don't roll as many dice though because it's not really much of a swarm anymore. There. Oh, the I've rolled really higher. Spider. Six points of bitey damage. Apparently Some it's a spider. very angry spider. Cool. Um, oh, I've still got an elk. The elk is going to... You're not still on the ground, are you, Griff? No, he got up. No, I stood up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, in that case, he is going to attempt to ram you again. Mm. Eight. He is going to fail to ram you. It is your turn, Griff. <laughs> All right. I promise that helps, son. I'm gonna. Uh, well, I'm gonna punch the last spider. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can actually hit it. 
It's done more damage than anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm amused by how the insects have done the most damage. How much, sorry? 26 to hit, 7 yes. damage. Yes, and yes, you get rid of the last spider. You managed to squish him. Cool. <laughs> then, after that, I'm going to shift one here, and I'm going to punch the bugs. Okay. <laughs> punch the bugs. I'm just trying. <laughs> Hit. And that's ten points of four damage. Ten points? Alright. Four standing. Yep. Cool. Is it still standing? Yep. Well, buzzing, oh, but wow. yep. It's and a lot of bugs, so. One more. Bugs <laughs> 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 for noise. Last punch, but. <laughs> How much, sorry? 24 to hit. Yes. 24 that... to hit. Yes, that hits. <laughs> Points of force damage. I didn't roll well six. for the damage, but six points more. All right. Well, you've reduced the swarm. It's smaller than it was. Yes. But there are still some bugs flying around. Was Tim's head? Somehow I imagine your spectral arms just like clapping down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's your turn. Yeah. It's just them reaching out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rian, you're up. Okay, um, well, seeing as how I have all these ravens around me, I am going to try and uh, reduce their, num their numbers. Okay. Uh, so that is... Um, first attack. Of 19 to hit. 19 will hit, yes. Okay. That is 8 points of damage. Okay. You managed to kill a couple of them, um, but they're still coming. Cool. My second attack is a 28 to- oh, is that a natural 20? Yeah, I rolled a natural 20. Ooh. Um. Uh, wait. Sorry, I rolled the wrong thing again. Um. No. Oh. Okay, so... Fourteen points of damage. How many, sorry? Fourteen. Fourteen? You kill all but two of the ravens. There are still two coming at oh, you. Oh, man. Oh, you know what, then? I For my, um... I'm sorry, I didn't do it. For the natural one, I'll just add the uh, psionic strike. Okay. Um, yeah. That's going to be another 12 points of damage. Yeah, alright, so those two are down too. The ravens are gone. That leaves one elk and two and... swarms of insects. Okay, and then I'm going to move over here. Alright. So, yeah. Cool. Um, that brings us to Ardbeck. I'm going to whip out my crossbow and shoot at the elk. Alrighty. Twenty-two to hit. Yes. Three points of damage. Three. Yes. Cool. Your crossbow bolt sticks into the elk's body, and it goes. Rawr, rawr. I don't know what noise that was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do butt damage. Yeah. Butt damage. Butt damage. Butt damage. Oh, see, I was aiming at his head. Should have been aiming at the butt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust my aim slightly towards its rather large rump uh -huh. and shoot a crossbow at its butt. Okay. We know what works. It's, it's a yeah. 22 to hit. Yes. And that's two points of butt damage. <laughs> Correlation does not equal causation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? You want to move? Um, I will. I will move up. Cool. Yeah. I know there's not up much here. map, but yeah, I get the idea. Flank, flank, flank some bugs. 
Frank yeah, Sunberg. Frank Sunberg. Alrighty. I'm writing that down for a sticker. Flank some bugs. Flank some bugs. Alrighty. Um, that brings us to the badges are dead. Was it him? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw one of the remaining magic stones to the elk. Okay. That's going to be. One does. No, that's gonna be 11 to hit. 11 hits? It does, yes. yes. Just an in. Fantastic. Uh, Which makes. Uh, oh, this is uh, four points of damage. Four? I love the sound effects so uh, much. <laughs> the, the elk is still up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are, are whittling away at it slowly, but it's still up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, then as a bonus action, I'm going to cast the first level healing word on Greth. Okay. Cool. Oh. Yay, uh, seven points of healing. I'm not that bad right now. Oh, you're not? Oh, then on me. I'll take it. No, no, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, then, set, then you get seven points of healing. Alright. Cool. Why would Any I hit you? heal myself? I'm protected. <laughs> Anything else, was it him? No, no, I'll try some more. I just stay catatonic on the floor. Okay. Cool. Harper, you're up. Alright. Uh, Harper is going to ray of frost that elk. Okay. Maybe you will kill it. <laughs> it's a 16 to hit. That hits. Uh, that is 14 points of damage. Yes, you kill the elk. Good job. <laughs> that, that... Was it him gets the healing word? <coughs> Was it him? Yeah, God, that's... God has given you a healing word. <laughs> How much was it? So as per our previous arrangement, you get... You roll a healing double. word, which is yes, and you double it because of your relationship, uh -huh. your relationship with your mysterious deity. <laughs> and then so right there, that's going to be uh, twelve points of healing. Cool, Harper. His, his deity chat room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. pretty much. Uh, maybe we're just gonna ray across this one of bugs that's on. Uh, okay. These, these got... Do it. Cool. Uh, which is a. Man, 21 to hit. Uh, yes, I don't even need to open it to know that that's gonna hit. Yep. Uh, 13 points of cold damage. Alright, so this. Ooh, nice. That, that gets rid of this swarm. You managed to kill off every bug in that swarm. Good job. Nice. Which leaves only the one swarm. Morwen. I'm gonna smack it with my. Um. Quarterstaff. Trying to send spells for the big stuff. Let's see. It's that is a 13. Yep. And that does d8. Eight. Ooh, one point of damage to the bugs. You kill one bug. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then I'm going to do a bonus action. That was a very long um, roll for a bug. Yeah, Ray of Frost. <laughs> All right. To the to the bugs, and that's a fifteen to hit. That hits. Two d eight. That's uh twelve points of damage. Okay. You you kill quite a lot of the bugs with that. Okay. But not all of them, and it's not there. And then I'm gonna I'm oh, gonna sorry, move you. this oh. one. You know, look, don't I look so super tasty? <laughs> okay. The bugs are going to try and bite you because, ow. Yeah. All right. So that I need to. There's a 20 to hit. So, yep. Yeah, roll four. Okay. So, that's a seven. So, they get me. Cool. They have less. Less now, though, because they're. Okay. Not as many of them. So, that is four points of piercing four damage. Four points? Yep. Okay. On the bugs. Mm -hmm. And, great. You're up. Okay, uh, you 
It's gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna try and try and get those bugs. And I'll stand, move up and start punch <laughs> punching bugs. Punching bugs with astral arms. Yep. No. 14 to hit. 14 hits. Points of damage. How many, sorry? Nine. Nine points of damage. That is exactly what you needed. There were nine oh, bugs left. Nice. So that's the end of the bugs. Let's go, let's move. <coughs> move, move, move. <laughs> So you're, time. you're running, are you? Is that what's happening right now? I'm suggesting to the crowd yeah. that we now hurry. Look at now. Yep. All right. Yeah. So you all take off through the forest towards the direction yeah. of the shrine. And after not that far now, you manage to um, get there. And what you see is this hill that rises out of the forest. There is a flight of, like, rickety wooden stairs that goes up the hill, and at the top you can see what looks like some kind of structure that kind of has a, it looks a little bit like, um, you know, like the, the like beach huts on island places, no, like it's made of, island? yeah, like it's made of wood and thatch and okay. that kind of thing, and there are vines that go up and are like twining around the building and leaves and flowers and it's pretty beautiful um and at that point we're going to take a break yes okay. sorry. it is basically it, it looks like a tiki bar <laughs> <laughs> um, would, would it be possible to suggest a break in game as well like a short rest <laughs> you can if you, you guys have that conversation Wait. with yourselves well, we could just eat some good berries oh yeah I'm going to eat some good berries, because yeah. I got munched. Alright. Yeah, if we, if we take a short rest, Harper would get some spells back, because of Arcane Recovery. Oh, yeah. So yeah, if you guys, if would, you guys want to... I would to, like as well. Um, you guys want to... Do you guys want to waste an hour waiting for those guys to regroup? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can the... cause, if we take ten minutes, I can cause Tiny Hut, and then we can just snipe them from inside the hut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also that, yeah. Yeah, if you want to do that. So you, because if you need your spell slots, oh. yeah. Uh, how bad are we I for still having uh, spells and that kind of thing. spell slots? I'm not yeah, going to get anything from a short rest, so it, it's up to anybody else who gets something from it. If you if you feel you need it, I'm down to wait. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, all yeah, okay with okay that. It. Come back, so. Yeah. so no, I don't think it's safe. All right. In I mean, in game, no break. Game. Out of game, yeah. break. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So we will take a short break. I'm going to quickly draw the we'll eat the, good berries, the giveaway. I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna eat some good berries. Yeah, me just too. Just to do it now before I forget. So we have 20 of them. I'm gonna yeah. eat 13 of them. So that's how much damage I took. Okay. Mama Bear 285, you have won a Scarab of Protection. I don't believe Ooh. you're a Gallon Horde member, so you can gift that to any member of the Horde you want. That really? is entirely Mama, up Mama to Bear. You. Mama Bear. I'm pretty In this sure game, that Mama Bear. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that Mama Bear is the mother of Tori and Megan. <laughs> is what yeah, I think that I, is. I think that's oh. right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's her mama. She's uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. awesome. Cool. Um, during the break, we are going to give away, since Will is playing in this game, I thought this was an appropriate time to give away 12 Days, which yeah. is the book that Will and I made several years ago. If I put it under here, you can see it nicely. Um, it was edited by me, illustrated and designed by Will. Um, it is gorgeous. Let me show you some of the pictures because they are beautiful. Hang on, I'm trying to find my favorite one. Ah, this this one is on our wall. <laughs> so they're oh, pretty. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Um, the stories are really cool. It's a anthology based on the 12 Days of Christmas. So basically, the brief was, write a story loosely inspired by one of the items in the 12 Days of Christmas song. Um, so each story is one of the items. Um, in and it's cool. So we will do that. I will put in reset. Yes. 
I'm gonna just make it. Oh my goodness, I can type. <laughs> Exclamation point. 12 days, and we'll draw that at the end of the break, and I will send someone a copy of this book. Um, yep, so we'll be back in 10 minutes or so, and yeah, hang around. Please don't go anywhere, and we will see you then. Mwah. Hello, humans of the internet, and welcome back. Um, as you can see, our adventurers are at the bottom of some stairs. But before we do that, I'm going to give away a book. Here we go. The winner is... Kidorama! Woo! Woo I so something. Yay! I will get that in the post to you at Yay! some point Yay! in the near future. You get to see the fruits of me and Will collaborating. Well, you've seen my shop. I love books, so yes. I'm very excited about that. Yes. Yeah. Can you show my favorite uh, illustration, Jess? Which is your favorite one? The one with the cat. The uh, one with yeah. the cat. I can't remember what the story was called. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> We're on a time Sorry. crunch. Um, I feel like it was... Oh, man. I don't remember which one it was. Are you sure we used that one? Didn't we end Whoa. up... This is your favorite. <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe we ended up redoing it or something. Maybe not. Hang on. Hang no, on. Surely not. The one with the cat. Let's see. I, I feel like we that was one of the concept arts, and then we ended up not actually using it. Calling you mean this one? You don't mean this calling one. birds. Oh, no, the calling birds. Had eyes. Had, no, the calling birds had um. No. Three French hens. No. Four calling birds. Oh yeah, there is a cat. My bad. Yeah. I don't know how well you can see that on the screen, but there is a cat hiding there. That's pretty dark. Okay. Oh, in the middle, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. I have two black cats, so that's awesome. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's start back in, because there's a time crunch. So, you find yourselves at the bottom of this flight of stairs leading up a hill. Um, what do you want to do? Make our way. I just want to charge on up the stairs. Okay. Is that what we're doing? We're not going to investigate to see if there's any traps yeah, or anything? Okay. Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe a quick maybe investigation. Like, yeah. Just have a look around. Make sure that yeah. there's like, no traps. <laughs> I'm just going to charge up the hill. Run it up there. Nah, back. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stomp on up the stairs. Right. You guys can do okay. it. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's one way to detect Well, We'll wait and fangs. see where the explosions happen. Yeah. And then, oh. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, you get halfway up the stairs and nothing continues to happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll go. Oh, now we know. Now I'll do an investigation check. <laughs> Ding. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to come up here and. and Alright, what, uh, what are you looking for? Um, I anything out of place? Like, that's not just what we're seeing? Like,. <laughs> okay, we're all looking for I'm, 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 I'm looking around for shit. Okay. Something we don't see. That's what we're looking <laughs> for. Uh, yeah. All right, make an I, investigation. I rolled a, natural, I rolled a natural one plus three for a total of four investigation. It all seems yeah, fine. Like I'm, running out. We see all of the things. Okay. I'm Brian? looking for traps, and I rolled a 23. There don't appear to be any traps. Right. Right. Don't see any trap. Okay. I'm gonna cast detect magic. There is a uh, very. There are a lot of really huge trees on this hill. Okay. Just gonna mention that. Does anything pop up with detect magic? The whole shrine is magical. 
Like as soon as you cast nope. it, that whole thing at the top lights up like a fucking fireworks. Okay, nothing, nothing else. Okay. <laughs> Kitsune just gave a potion of resistance to the next creature that appears. Thanks, Hella. That's me. <laughs> I get. Oh, that. that's. Thanks, I Hella. <laughs> I love Hella. <laughs> just saying. The chat, give us the chat, take us away. <laughs> I'll remember that, Hella. That's all I I'm mean, saying. to be fair, Hella does love chaos. The action will so, have consequences. Yeah. Uh, resistance. I've got to look it up now because it's not usually something I get to use. What do I have resistance to? You don't know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Thanks, Hella. Um, all right, what are you doing? We're gonna. I don't want to run. If anybody else wants to run, I'm just gonna slowly make well, my way yeah. up. Yeah, I want someone so, else. I want to move to the with their face. Odd back. Um, as you go to cross, like as you get to the threshold. There is a big fucking tree right on the corner of those stairs, just like over here. Um, mm -hmm. And you, one of the branches is going to come out and attempt to smack you. Oh! I told you fire would come in handy. That's a twenty-eight to hit. <laughs> oh! Hit me? No, hit Ardbeck because he was there first. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. That hits. That hits? I guess I should use the green ones, hey. Like to see seeing this happen, kind of reach out with the uh, with their arcane ward and extend it to uh, absorb some of that damage. All right. Not all of it. I dropped that lovely dice that just rolled so well for me. That's eleven. Is that right? Five plus six. Yes, eleven points of damage. Ardbeck. So the the ward takes all that damage and is still intact, and Ardbeck takes none. Cool. You didn't take any damage because so Harper saved you. Oh, thanks, Harper. <clears throat> so, it is now apparent to you that right here on the side of the stairs is a big, really big tree that appears to be animated in some way. <laughs> Let's roll initiative! <laughs> Yay! Yay. Why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna move the map down a bit for the sake of the audience. We'll do that. Um, alright. <laughs> I just rolled a natural 20 on initiative. Did he die? Oh, it has negative one to initiative. That's annoying. That's what happens when you're a tree, I guess. Alright. <laughs> oh. Who got over 20? Natural 20 for 20. Cool. Any 19s? Is that the sound of an angry yeah. tree I hear in my ears? Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. 19. Okay. Girl, 18 plus 1. Cool. Uh, anything above 15? 15. Yeah, I got 16. <laughs> 16 for Artbeck? I got eight. Yeah. I got eighteen. Eighteen for Griff. Sixteen for Arctic. Fifteen for Morwen. Fifteen for Morwen. Which leaves us with Rianth. What did you get? A big ol' six. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, cool. I I was too paying too much attention to the stairs, not trying to fall, and you know. Yeah. These things happen. That's fair. Um. Okay. Was it him? You watched this tree attempt to smack Ardbeck and get stopped by Harper's shield thingy. What are you doing? Okay, so for starters, I'm going to look at Ardbeck and say, Fear not, my child. Through me, you are protected. And I cast Sanctuary on him. Okay. As a bonus action. And as an action, I'm going to remember the lessons that Bomba gave me last week, that I need to channel my fear and that I need to embrace it. And I'm going to cast Conjure Animals to Conjure eight 
fucking giant badgers around that tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, luckily, I have badges in my box of yeah. tricks because of, you know... Giant badges. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> Six badges. Ha, okay. Take your time. One. And I, as two, they pop one by one, three. I count, like, my cookies do not taste <laughs> funny, bitch. <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna make you control the badges. You can put them where you want. Thank you. Uh, so, let's see about that. Where they at? I don't see them. Hang on, hang on, hang oh, on. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Sorry. I think I might have actually put them on the GM screen. The GM layer. So, give me a minute. And I will fix mm -hmm. that. They're not called Hi. anything. They're not called anything. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and one, okay. And uh, Rianth is like, these are on our side, not, not, not <laughs> Okay. What are your badges? What is happening? With oh. They're, just they're gonna multi attack that bitch. Okay. <laughs> he likes the form. Get that bird. Okay, so first one. Uh, Alright. Sorry, this is going to be long, I'm sorry. Uh, first one is a natural 20 on the bite. Or 23. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yep. Yeah. That's going to be the seven, seven points of piercing damage. Alright. Uh, second attack with the claws. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. That's going to be... What, uh, seven points of uh, slashing damage. Okay. Second one. I'm so sorry, you guys, but bite for this one. Uh, I don't think it's gonna hit. It's gonna be 11 to hit. That misses. Okay, claws. Uh, 22. That hits. Kit, you just got a potion of resistance for that terrible oh. thing from Adam. <laughs> Five points of slashing damage. Okay. <laughs> so I need to roll a d10 to see what it is. Correct. Third okay, one. So... Uh, Bite, uh, yep. oh, I'm rolling better now. 20 to hit. Yes. Six. Six. Okay, that's four points of piercing damage, and now the claws. Two necrotic resistance. No, that, that's going to be like seven. Doesn't hit, I guess. Nah. Fourth, bite. Eleven. Nope. Eleven claws. misses. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen hits. Okay, that's going to be fun. Uh, uh, four points of uh, slashing damage. Okay. Fifth. Uh, <laughs> Eleven. Doesn't hit. Claws. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen does hit. Okay. Six points of slashing damage. Sixth one. Bite. Uh, nope. Nine. Claws. Three. Nope. Eight. <laughs> Okay, seventh. Uh, bite. Nope. Ten. And claws. Yes, twenty-two. Yep. Which makes another one and uh, four, five points of slashing damage. Okay. And last button badger. Uh, <laughs> bite. Nope. And uh, claws. Ten. Nope. Again. And that's my turn. And okay. I sit down and hide behind one of the stones. Cool. There. Cool. It's not I rolled a tree's a six turn. for my potion. Where is the? Is there a table somewhere? Oh, uh, six would be six. one moment. One yeah, six. Necrotic. 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 Thank Necrotic. you. Yeah. E. All right. <coughs> okay. The tree is going to smack a badger, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a badger. Smack a badger. That is 22. 
That hits. Cool. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. One badger is dead. Cool. Feel free to remove one badger. Oh. Um, with pleasure. Okay, you are also going to notice over here. Oh. Um, from over here, you're going to see one rock float up off the ground and then hurtle towards probably Rianth because mm. you're the closest there so that is a natural 20 oh boy right. so a different kind of rock than we faced last time yeah right <laughs> oof okay this is gonna hurt ooh <laughs> 69 points Ooh, nice. uh, of bludgeoning I will damage. Reduce that by. Because of the nat 20. <laughs> wow. That's the rock. So, Jesus. And we'll reduce that by 8. So it'll be 61 eight. points of damage. Okay. So, mm -hmm. it's 20, and then 41. Oh, that first tree gets two slam attacks, so it's going to go after another badger in a minute. Alright. Because the rock is a different thing. So, while you're mapping... Mm. 20 hit your badger? It does. Oh, jeez. That's like the opposite of the natural 20. That's 9 points of damage to one of your badgers. Okay, he's still standing. Alright, mm. Brianth, are you still yeah. up? After that yep. mon monster yep. rock smacked you in the face? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Harper, it is your turn. Alright, uh, seeing that rock come out of fucking nowhere, <laughs> um, Harper is going to cast Blur on themselves. Fair. <laughs> right? <laughs> Changes my plans immediately. <laughs> I don't want to get hit by no rock. Was it him? Someone uh, just and... healed your badger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do they, since I conjured them, do my badgers, uh, Take my like uh, cow's domain boon. Um, I would say no. I'd say that only works on okay, you. Not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay. Sorry, so Harper. So I got first. distracted by the healing badgers. I like how Rianth took sixty-one yeah. points of damage and you healed the badger. Chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's on brand though for Hella. <laughs> <laughs> that is. You're right. <laughs> yeah. So. Sorry. Uh, carry on. Cast blur and yep. then they will fire bolt to the tree. Okay, fireball the tree. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. <laughs> that hits. Uh, that is 16 points of fire damage. Oof, okay. Um, cool. That seemed to really fucking hurt that tree a lot. It is a tree. Fire, fire good. Fire bad. <laughs> fire good for us. Uh, that's my turn. Griff, you're up. Don't know what that rock was about, but uh... How long has it been since the last... Did we just come up here like within a minute or two, or has it been a few minutes? We had to walk like quarter mile or something, didn't we? Yeah, so. you, like you had to run oh. quite a long way, so it's probably been a few minutes, yeah. Oh, are you thinking about my your arms? My arms wear off after 10 and I did. Yeah, yeah. After 10, you said? Yeah, it's probably been 10 minutes. 
And that means I gotta get up close and personal with this thing. Um, Which is hot. I guess I'll come around this. Can I come around this way? You can, but you will need to make a dex check because you're now like on the edge of the hill and it's all rocks and uneven and difficult. All right. Uh, make, dex make, save or dex check? Dex check, just to see if you fall down the hill or not. Or if you successfully <laughs> do your monk thing. 18. Yeah, you're fine. So 18. you manage to just find spots on it that don't move beneath your feet. And, uh, it's, uh... Go, do what I need to do. Uh, that's gonna be... Oh. Need a hit? How much, sir? Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen does not hit, I'm afraid. Yeah, fifteen. Oh, but you, but you have advantage, because you're flanking with a badger, aren't you? Yes, you do have advantage. Oh, I didn't think... Alright, let's try that again then. See if I get a better roll. Worse! <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm gonna miss the first one, so yep. I'm gonna just keep trying again. Okay. Swing. Oh, don't do... Internet? Oh! That was a nat 20! Yeah! That hits. Remember to add the max of your dice. So that's gonna be... Okay. That will be um, 11 plus 6, 17 points of damage. Cool. And I'm gonna spend a key point to tr try and stun it. To try and stun it, okay. So that is a wisdom you... save, is that correct? So it's... I believe it is a con save. Let a me make sure save. here. Uh... That's better for me. That's a nat 20 anyway. So it doesn't probably matter. That's my like no, nope, yeah, twenty. Then it enough. doesn't. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Hey, but yeah, it's con save. So yep. Um, one more shot. Then I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Heck with it. Okay. I got one more attack. Might as well use it, right? Yep. Let's see. I still have advantage. Yes, because you're flanking. Yep. Still flanking. Because I'm still flanking. Yep. Um, then we'll do, uh, nine points of damage, and I'm gonna try another stunning strike, see if it can, uh, see if it can roll as well this time for a con save. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. It does have a really good con, but that's still only a nine. So it's stunned, I believe. No, it needs to be a 16. Yeah. So yeah, it's so stunned. it's stunned for the... Cool. It's also looking pretty frickin' hurt after all these badges came after it and various <laughs> other things. It's And that fire was bad news. It's not a happy tree. Artbeck! Yeah, um, seeing I'm at the top of the stairs and there's a whole lot of chaos of badges flying around, um, can I look around the shrine real quick to see if I can see an amulet or bracelet or something? So you're stepping inside? No, I'm, I'm not moving, I'm just <laughs> looking. Make a... Make a perception check, because I don't think... Well, yeah, let's do that. Basically looking for the thing that the lady sent for us, like, to see if I can see it. Alright, well, well, perception or investigation. Either's fine, depending on it's how. Same. And I, I want to use my inspiration as well. Okay. Uh, what's what's the thing for inspiration? Is it a D6? Yeah, it's a re-roll. D6. Oh, it's a D6? Yep. So you add, you roll a D6 and add it to your total. Oh, cool. Kit, did so you see you got inspiration is... as well, by the way? Yes, thank you. It's at 21. 21? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind, it's advantage apparently, but that's fine, we'll go oh, with that. 21. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, okay. no, I've misunderstood. Alright, um, so you look inside and you can see what you can see on the map. You can see like uh, this altar that is shaped like the stump of a tree. Um, but it's, it, it, while it looks like it's made of wood, it's not an actual stump of a tree. It's like 
vines and things that have grown into that shape and it kind of moves up and then in the middle there is like the vines kind of do this so they make like a bowl kind of thing and inside that there is something that looks like it may be an amulet oh, reminiscent okay. of our chalices that our druids are making a little bit yeah I'm sure. you have a bonus action on me a bonus action if you want it um can i dash to try and grab the amulet you're gonna go inside yeah let's do that <laughs> all right that's, as you, so yep that's can fine I move to there? yep as you go inside you see in the corner here another one of those big fucking trees a whomping tree <laughs> yeah pretty much um are you reaching out and grabbing the thing hell yeah all right make a wisdom save for me please Thirteen. Thirteen. As you touch the amulet, you get the weirdest sensation of growing roots. And you become convinced that your feet have become roots and are rooting you to the ground. You, mm -hmm. You're twelve. Um, you're... <laughs> You basically can't move from that spot until you save that wisdom throw. It's so you're, I'm stuck, rooting for you. you're stuck in that space. Yeah. But I can I've still got free use of my arms and yes, things but, like that. But you're 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 like half tree now. You you think you are half tree now. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. Um <laughs> Morwen, I, you're I, up. You what? You what? I tried, I tried to move, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Morwen. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up here. This is a very punalicious game. And I'm going to cast the mirror image on myself again, because that okay. helped a lot. Yeah. And I'll give you some extra use. So it's three, you. right? Oh, did I actually, yes. did I actually get the amulet? Yeah, it's in your hand. What's the what's the safe word? Can we just get out of here now? You are convinced that you're rooted to the ground, so anything that makes you move is going to hurt you in horrible ways. You, you're sure. Okay, of that. don't say the safe word. <laughs> like that's that's what what this the effect is that you are now like oh I'm I'm now here forever. This is I'm this is me. Yeah. Sorry, I haven't made it so you can move for me at one moment. So you can. But there will be consequences. Okay. Oh, I can move them now. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. So I will once again give you a little heart so you know which one is the real you. The one with this the heart. This one is, is yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that's my action and my bonus action. I'm gonna cast Firebolt at this tree. You haven't seen that tree yet. Oh, oh, I have it. Then I can. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it on this one then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a natural twenty. Cool. Jeez, we've had a lot of those tonight. I didn't even use my inspiration. I just, just okay. And that is. Let me see. This is gonna be painful. That is two D ten, so it automatically gets twenty. Yep. Plus. Ooh, that's a 10. Oh my gosh. I rolled 19, so I've got 39 points. How Don't many, mess sorry? with me, tree. 29. No, 39. 39. 20 and 19. Yeah. That tree goes up in flames. It just is in flames and is no longer working. Flames um, on the side of my face. Cheshire Monkey, that's you, Rian, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got yes, the healing yes. word. Yeah, I got four hit points back. Cool. And it looks like uh, Morwen also got a healing word. Did you see that? Oh, no. Thank you very much. <laughs> is, that, is that a use now? Because I'm at full hit points right now. Ah, uh, no, you can hang on to it. Okay. Need it later. That's fine. Thank you. All right. All right, um, I'm done. Yeah, okay, cool. 
Uh, where are we? Rien, you're up. All right. So this tree died next to me, and I can see Arbeg holding the amulet, but he's not moving with it, right? Correct. Okay. Um, he's literally just like standing there, holding on to it, looking. Well, you can't see his face from where you are, so you don't know. Right. So I'm gonna actually misty step right next to him. Okay. And reach out and try and grab the amulet. Okay. And say the magic word. All right. When you touch it, I need you to make a wisdom save. All right. Let's see here. I'm rooted too. It's a five. <laughs> <laughs> you are also suddenly convinced that your feet have become roots and you are now connected to the ground in this place and if you attempt to leave it it's going to be bad you have this feeling in your belly that it would be like ripping part of yourself out of the ground it wouldn't be pleasant also you can now see that there's another tree end in the corner right um i'm gonna do it the latches all right, Rianth and Ardbeg, I need you to make a wisdom save, please. Fourteen. How many? Fourteen. One. Fourteen. Seventeen. Ardbeg, you have a legendary resistance. You've just been given a legendary resistance. That means that you failed the save, but you can choose to succeed. Um, I choose to succeed. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, how many have I got here? Weather alert. <laughs> All right. Rian, you you 17? Yeah. So you also succeeded. So you will each take half damage of this phenomenal pile of D6s I have in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might show up at the ladies' chamber, like, you know unconscious but hey uh, I can add I can add hang on 10 15 16 17 and 12 is 29 you each take 29 points of psychic damage that's half Ooh. sorry halved of 29 so 15 or 14 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Yeah. Um, also, you just got a healing word, Cheshire Monkey. Uh, sorry, I said Cheshire oh, Monkey because awesome. that's what I can see in chat. That's okay. Rian. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and the rest of you feel yourselves tugged and you all land in the ladies' throne room. Um, <coughs> Rian and Art the, the badges come too. Because that's what we did with Rufus. <laughs> um, no. Rian and Ardbeg, <laughs> you both feel really fucking weird. Like something in your feet has been ripped out of something that should be part of your body. Like that's what it feels like. It's it, like your feet have been pulled up, but it feels like part of your body has been pulled away, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, like we left something it hurts. behind. Yeah, it hurts. It's, it's like a phantom limb thing. or something. Kind of, yeah, mm. but it's it's a weird, like, for just a minute you were a tree and you felt like what it felt to be uprooted. That's what it, that, that's the vibe you feel. Um, but the it's lady goes... the weirdest goes, feeling that I've had today. <laughs> it's do not I the see, weirdest do I, see Riant, <laughs> do I see Riant with the uh, amulet in her hand? Make a perception check. Yes, please. Uh, 19? Yeah! You can see she has the amulet in her hand. And she looks visibly hurt? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, really hurt. Yes. I'm gonna... Like, I do not appreciate an object hurting my friends, so I'm going to... Despite him being with the lady, I'm gonna cast Dispel Magic on the amulet. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on, because <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, Harper would say uh, this. It would fourth level, please. Hang on. Harper, Harper would attempt to counter spell that. Alright, so what Look level are you I only, have, I only have third level spells, so I would have to roll. Alright, roll for it then. Uh, that's a 
14 on the die, so plus my end is 19. So it can't just spells. So you'll just spell magic fizzles. And the lady looks at you and goes, Ah, little gnome, what are you trying to do? Save everyone. Seems dangerous. I mean, many things are dangerous. That doesn't necessarily mean they aren't useful. You're all dangerous, aren't you? Debatable. <laughs> Beat her. You tasted his lucky punch. Well, out of pure spite, I'm just, uh, just like gonna cast a cure wounds on Rianth. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Spite cure wounds. Yeah, so I sure <laughs> don't know that amulet. Um, the lady. That's gonna be six, six, 16 points of healing. The lady oh, says to Rianth, um, can I have it, please, before your gnome friend tries to ruin all your hard work again? Yes, please take it away from me. Right, and you place it in her hand, and you see her kind of... Are you going to warn her for, for a, Are you going to warn her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll say something. Like, you know, be careful. It might mess with your mind a little. Oh, stronger things than this have tried to mess with my mind, dear. And she takes it from you. Oh, yeah. She's fine. <laughs> she goes... <laughs> Interesting. And she squirrels it away. <clears throat> okay. Well, seems like that was a bit tricky for you. Well, well in today's work. The whole forest was against us, so that was um well, I did warn unexpected. you about it, didn't I? I did say that the forest Food might back there. I, I didn't burn anything down. Well, I appreciate that. Well done. Except for a big tree. Could I have a luau? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> What's a luau? A tree. You just burned one tree. Oh. oh. Was it attacking you, though? Oh, you don't have that yeah. here? Oh, it's awesome. Hey, get these wild boars. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Although, full, full disclosure, the tree that burned down, we did not, like, shut him off, so maybe it has spread by now. We cannot confirm that. Hmm. I shall see what I can do to make sure that any fire is contained. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Thank you very much for your excellent work today. As usual, you will receive recompense in the form of gold and status and something special. Awesome. I think I'm, I you. must go and rest. <laughs> you do look a bit hurt, my dear. She sort of wiggles her fingers at you and you heal. Oh! 11 points. Awesome. That was very much appreciated. Now, if that's all. Can you stop me from feeling so rooted? Lady, oh, I'm please. sorry, dear. <laughs> of course. She wiggles. <laughs> you only get four points. <laughs> Take it. And she kind of looks at her fingers and she goes, oh, that didn't seem to work as well. I'm sorry about that. Well, well, congratulations. In, in that case, we will leave you to use that amulet as you see fit. Thank you. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably going to go rest. Yeah, that's Thank a good idea. Thank you for hard work today. And find yes. therapy. Those were good. <laughs> therapy. What was good? The cookies. The cookies were not appreciated Once as much as I hoped. <laughs> Well, you know, you'll find that wild edibles are not that appreciative of things like cookies. You should try them sometimes. Maybe I will. <clears throat> Maybe you will. All right, well. And I leave. Best of luck with your healing, or whatever it is you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, until next time. Mm -hmm. All right, so you all leave the throne room. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone want to do anything after you leave that needs to happen on stream, or can we just move along? <laughs> move along. I'm good. Head into the pub. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> All right. Exactly. <laughs> well, in that case, I guess we can call it a day. Um, I will say that we are doing a special extra game on my Monday afternoon this week. So that is Monday, 3 p.m. New Zealand time. 
I don't know what that is in the rest of the world. Probably Tuesday nights for many of you. Um, just because we were finding that we needed more slots, so we're trying to find other spaces. Uh, so that will be the Storied Tapestry. We have six brand new members who've never played before, except for Tori, who played in the Bag of Beans game, but never actually done mm -hmm. a mission. Um, and Bag they will be... What's that? The Bag of Beans, yeah. Um, they will be... Um, Attempting yeah. to steal a tapestry from a um, noblewoman's ballroom. Was it a bar? Yes. Oh. Well, it's a tapestry. The image, the picture of the tapestry is about a bard. Oh, um, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sunday night for the US. What did I say? I don't know. Anyway. You said Tuesday, but yeah, Sunday, I was backwards. Sunday afternoon. I was backwards. My Monday afternoon, yeah. your <laughs> Sunday night. Um, Sunday evening. Yep. So we will be... Yeah. Doing that on Monday, and then next week, as usual, in this time slot, we will be doing another adventure. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it is, though, which is nuts. But anyway, something awesome, no <laughs> doubt. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so thank you all for watching and for being here and for helping my trees. Hella, you're awesome. Um, <laughs> and thank you, six lovely people, for playing in this game today. This is great fun. Um, and I love that you guys have taken to it so much. Uh, and, yep, we will see you on Monday and again on Saturday. Um, yeah. Have a beautiful weekend, week, whatever. Um, and we love you very much. Mwah.